Okay, so we've proven that there is a statistically significant difference in the age of these ICU patients. In 2000, it was 64.5, and now we're saying it's a little bit lower than that. But are those results practically significant? Do they have real value in real life, IRL, right? So let's look at it. If we look at the initial hypothesis, it's that the um, mu zero was 64.5 years old. And now we have an X bar that is 64.28 years old. Even though that's a statistically significant difference, it's not a very big difference. It's not going to affect how this ICU is run, right? So we're getting at something a little bit called effect size, which we'll play with, but you just kind of want to look at them and kind of say, you know, hey, is this a big difference? Hmm. I would say in this case, no. This is not a big difference. So not of great practical significance. Practical meaning in practice, in real life, right? So not of great practical significance because 64.28, which was our X bar, is just a tiny bit different. Um, I guess, all right, her, is so close, let's put it that way, so close to the mu zero, which was 64.5. So even though the statistical test says, hey, there's something here, but that something might not be that big of a deal, right? The ICU is going to run how it, was, it always was. So the statistical set, so statistical set, significant statistical test says significant. But real life, it's not a big difference. All right, in real life, this is not a big difference. there's not a huge effect on the age of these patients, right? There's not a big difference. All right, so that, I'm leading into some things here. So, all right, when we have a small p-value, we say that the result is statistically significant, which means it checks the boxes, it re you reject h naught, you did what you were supposed to do. It's, it's not meaning anything wrong. When you have a small p-value, that's statistically significant because you get to reject HO. Right? That is what statistical significance means. But that does not always mean that the result is practically important in real life, right? It just means that you got to reject H note, which is fine, right? That's great, right? So that's what this is saying. When a result is statistically significant, you get to reject HO. Reject HO. That is all that statistical significance means. And that's all that it can mean. It doesn't speak to real life. It can't. It's just a process. It doesn't give you real life practical applications, right? We cannot conclude that the difference is large enough to be important, i.e. may not be a practically significant result. Now, the difference actually has a name. There, there's more going on here that I'm kind of um, alluding to. It's called the effect size. So if you hear that referred to in some class somewhere, the effect size is kind of the difference is one way you can measure it. There are other ways, but basically, you know, you're getting at, you know, hey, how big of an effect did this have? How big of an effect do we see? Well, we see it only going down by a little bit, right? That's the effect size, right? So that effect size might not be that important. So that leads us to, we need, we need kind of a rule of thumb. And our effect size will be the difference between. That's what we're going to use for us. Again, there are more things going on here that we're not going to get into too much. But um, so let me put it down here. So uh, rule of thumb, right? So this is not a hard and fast rule. We're just kind of kind of wing it here. If mu zero minus x bar, if I take this mu zero and this x bar and I subtract them, I get the difference. 
and it's large. And you can do the same thing with p0 and p hat, right? Or, right? So it would be true of proportions as it sh is true of means, either one. If there's if they're large, difference, then it's practical significance, right? It implies that it's important. Um, I guess I should say in real life, right? In practice. That's where the word practical comes from, right? In real life practice, that could be important. If it's a small difference, that implies that it's probably not that important. Not of practical significance. Right. There we go. Right. So real life importance means practical significance. So, or not of practical significance. So, that's what I'm saying. And as does this one implies is practical significance. Practical significance. Let me let me write it that way. So if you see a big difference, then that is more likely a practical significance. And if you don't see a big difference, then that's probably not a practical significance. Now if you're smart, you might be thinking, wait a second, how do we ju judge whether something's large or small, though? Ah, that's the real kicker of all, because that is a judgment call that you have to make based on the context. So how do you choose whether it's large is large enough? How do you know that that's not that big of a difference? Well, I know because I've been around ICUs and a difference of 0.23 of a year, 0.22 of a year is not going to make that big of a difference. Exactly. So I'm making a judgment call that that's a small difference. See what I'm doing? Right? I'm judging that that difference is small. Right? So, <laughs> and large versus small is a judgment call. Hmm. And I guess that gets at the heart of it. I guess I'll just make that the big note. So, big note, important note. At its heart, um, practical significance, practical significance. is a judgment call. Oops, judgment, there we go. <laughs> call, right? You have to judge it yourself based on the context of the situation. It's not something somebody can do for you. You have to decide whether you think based on the context of the situation. And there's more that can go into this, but that would be for another statistics course that we're not doing. <laughs> So we're just going to leave it at that for us. For our purposes, we're going to say, hey, you have to look at the context. So, for example, for the ICU patients, that difference might not be that big of a deal, right? But let's think that, say, this is um, survival rates for puppies of a surgery. Well, then having a survival rate that's a little bit higher might matter, right? That matters because that means that those puppies get to live, right? So it, it depends on your context. And I guess I should say that here. It's a judgment call based on context, right? That's the word call, by the way, <laughs> judgment call based on context. The context matters. What makes something large versus small is all based on your personal judgment regarding the situation. And that's tricky. There's more going on with that, but that's where we're going to leave it for the sake of our class. So kind of look at the effect size. Look at the difference between what you thought it should be and what it was, and then make a judgment call about whether you think that difference is big or not. And in the end, you're ultimately making a judgment call 
based on that context.